everybody welcome to children can cook happy independence day nigeria is 60 years old today and we are happy our children are happy yes some people say there is no need for us to celebrate but the truth is we have a cause to celebrate thinking back from where we are coming from and then where we are today this 2020 is enough for us to say thank you lord because we are alive Remember this COVID killed several people in some countries and in some countries they're still locked down but we are able to come out and walk again. So we have a cause to celebrate. Today I have some children with me to tell us a lot, the, all the things they know about Nigeria, their culture, our food and every other thing and what they want. Nigeria to become. But stay tuned as we have a discussion. Thank you. As I said the other time, I have some children here to discuss on Nigerian food and culture. And then they will tell us one or two things about the national anthem. With me, we, I have... Hello everybody, my name is Enilu Afe John Fesobu. Hello everybody, my name is Mary Ambello. Hello everybody, my name is Abidro Oju. Hello everybody, my name is Mori Sumeya. Hello everybody, my name is Mazida Bello. Hello everyone, my name is Anolu Akwa Adedeji. My name is Rukaya Adorowuchu. Hello everybody, my name is Anolu Akwa Adedeji. Hello everybody, my name is Anolu Akwa Adedeji. Okay children, before we start the discussion, I want to ask some questions. And the question is this. Who wrote the national anthem? And what year was it written? Can you... Anybody know? The people that bought it for Nigeria, it was three people that bought each anthem. Thank you. Four people that wrote the anthem. Do you know any the name of any one of them? Mm. Anybody? You know the I name of this P O A P O A D B B P. Yes, that's one of the people that wrote the national anthem. What year was it adopted? And 1978. Wow, clap for her. Who added the music to the national anthem? 
Mazida Bailu. Police ban DE Adiose in 1990. Thank you. Let's clap for her. I have one more question to ask. And I want to ask Ayodare Dara Simi, how many years have we been having that we have the instrumentals? 42 years. Now I want to ask you some questions. How many, you know, what do you know about Nigerian food and the culture? Miriam Bayo. Since there are different parts of Nigeria, like the north side of Nigeria, west side, south, different parts of Nigeria, they come, food comes from different parts of Nigeria. There is food that they make in the north, Food that they make west, food south, everything. So, food doesn't come from just one. Food doesn't just come from Nigeria as a whole. It comes from different parts of Nigeria. Like there's food that mostly the people that stay in the north eat. There's food that mostly the people that stay in the west eat. Food that mostly the people that stay east, south, all the parts of Nigeria. So, food is. Nigerian food is a part of who we are. It's a part of our culture. It's a part of how we grew up, how we live in Nigeria, basically. Thank you, Miriam. I'd like to ask Enyo Yes, ma'am. What do you know about our food and culture? Okay. What I know about Nigerian food and culture is that it's so diverse that food comes from every single state place city town and everywhere in nigeria have their own food they like and even in different seasons we have different food yes we also have the seasonal foods because in some seasons some things cannot grow so we have seasonal food and our food is so diverse and we have so much cultures that I cannot name everything. We have more like more than two over two hundred cultures in our country, Nigeria. And every culture has their own food they like. Like I'm going to talk about the Ijebus. They love Suba foods. They love Eba, Ebiripo, and all the Tuba foods. And did you know that they don't cook their tuba food alike? They cook every single tuba food differently. And they love it together. And, most, and they're still healthy. Even though that they eat so much carbohydrate, they have things to balance it down. Thank you, Eni You're welcome. Mazida Bailu. What do you know about Nigerian culture? Nigerian culture and food. Okay, so Nigerian culture is one thing and then Nigerian food is another thing. Starting with Nigerian food. You can get food in Nigeria from different parts of this of the country. Like you can get from the south, west, north. And some of the different foods according to their tribes are like Yoruba, they have Amala. And for Igbo Lang, you have Oha. Okay, now Nigerian culture. The same way you have food per tribe, you can also have culture. Like in Yoruba land, their culture is for females. They wear Iro and Buba with skinny. And male, they wear something else. In Hausa land, the females, they dress differently from how Yoruba and Igbo females will dress. Thank you, Mazida. Yes, I know that in Nigeria we have different cultures. We have different traditional ways. We have different dances. We have so many. You know, we are just so diverse. 
you know, God just bless us with several culture that we are together and we are living as one. Maya Umar, what do you know about Nigerian food? What kind of food do the Ishan eat? What kind of food do some people eat? Like the kind of food we eat. When did we start, you know, used eating glutamate seasoning? adding all these condiments to our food. Where did all these things started? Because I know that in the past, we were not doing that. So we started using glutamate seasonings in the year 1904. And the major reason was because of the British. The major reason why we started eating glutamate seasoning was because of trade. So it, um, it's like made way for other goods in their country to come into our country. So they use glutamate seasoning. Basically, they use glutamate seasoning before. So they brought it into our country and then it all started coming into our country. Like they started selling it and stuff like that. And some foods that we have in Nigeria are we have pate that is basically made from rice or acha. We have um we have fura that's like cow milk, I guess. We have a dikaya cow. We have a biripo. We have a kuru. We have banga soup. We have corn soup. We have begiri soup and so on. It's too much that I can't even see up there. Thank you, Sumaya. You are right. We never used to eat glutamate seasoning and all this foreign food before until recently. Before we used herbs, spices, and all others to, to cook our food. For instance, some of the glutamate seasoning company started not too long ago. Like some started in the 90s, some started 1995, 98, 1990, and, and the likes. So, what were we eating before then? Can you tell us what we were eating before? The thing we eat before are iru, curry, nutmeg, cinnamon, turmeric, and so on. Thank you, Abib. Everybody, do we know the, what glutamate seasoning costs to our health? I will start from Miriam Bello. What do you think glutamate seasoning do to our health? And aside from the glutamate seasoning, tell us any other food that you know has a side effect on our health that we don't even know anything about. Glutamate seasoning causes cancer. It, it kills our blood cells because of the amount of the ingredients they use to make it aren't exactly the best for our system, our organs, our everything in our body. The ingredients they use to make it aren't, they don't research about this stuff. They don't, they just add stuff together and give it, share it out to the world. Another thing that isn't really good for our, our health is fried food. Us Nigerians, we like fried food. We like anything fried. And it's not really good for our health because the amount of oil in it is is just not good enough for our bodies. Okay. They are saying the, the oil has a lot of side effects. Mm -hmm. So it clogs to on our, in our arteries. Or what do, what do you really want to say about it? Oil in our body, I'm not saying oil isn't good, but everything has an amount. Okay. You're not supposed to exceed it. There's an amount you should reach. You should just stay in the middle, balance it. If you take too much oil, it causes heart diseases. It's just not too good for us. I'm not saying you can take oil, but not too much. Okay. It should get to an extent, and not all the time. Not that every single thing you cook, you should put oil inside. Okay. Thank you, Miriam. Okay. 
Let me tell you the testimony of a friend of mine. You know, she said she has been watching our videos. Let's clap for her. And you know what she said she learned? She said she decided to stop using glutamate seasoning. And she decided to stop overcooking her food. And since then, she found out that, you know, she doesn't feel bloated like before. She feels like her body system is getting better. Which means that at times when we overcook our food, it affects our system because we are actually eating sharp. As one of us used to say, that when we overcook our food, we are eating sharp. So, Sumeya Umar, what can you say about any other food that you know that is not good for our health, but we eat it? We love sugary things a lot, like too much. Sure, you have to have some amount of sugar in your body system in order to make your cells work better. But then we forget that there are other things that are good for our body to actually make our body system work better. Like fra it's actually milk that comes from cow that is better than other for other milk that we drink today. So things like all those other beverages that we don't even know how its ingredients have been are formed or something like that. So we take sugary things a lot and it needs to be minimized. That is why people have diabetes because of sugar things. Thank you, Sumeya. Yes, we eat a lot of sugary food. Aside from the milk you talked about, we have pastries like donuts, meat pie, sausage. We just eat all of these pastries. And at times we eat a lot of polished flowers. All this polished flour affects our system. Mazida, what do you have to say to this? Glutamate seasonings, they're actually very bad for the health. Did you know that glutamate seasonings can cause up to 85 different types of cancer? And I'm sure none of us would want to have that. And then even if you say, I can only use it once, it won't affect me that bad. It can actually really affect you very much because your body will not be used to the glutamate seasoning. So my advice for you is that do not use glutamate seasoning. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, and you know what happens? It's gradual. At the beginning, you start having headaches. And the reason why we're having a, that headache is simply because the glutamate seasoning actually busts some cells in our brain. And you know, the way it, you know, it, the way it happens to everybody is different. Some people, they will start becoming obese simply by eating glutamate seasoning. And your luafe, what can you tell us about? all these things that we have been eating, whatever we eat that causes danger to our body. Can you let us know any one of them? Okay. What I want to talk about is salt. Did you know that we need less salt in our body than sugar? So, and even when we taste salt, it gives us the reward. The reward hormone com comes out and it makes us feel like if it makes it taste nice, but too much salt can cause high blood pressure, and high blood pressure is very bad for us. And did you know that our body is made of a lot of salt? That that's why when we taste our tears or sweat, we have we take we feel salt, and if we add so much salt to it. Too much of anything will be bad, even though we have a lot of salt in our body. When we add too much to it, it becomes over and it can cause different problems like high blood pressure and blood and heart disease. Okay. What do you children have to say to our parents? 
anybody has something to say to our parents at home parents are to make sure you take care of your children and you make sure you don't use flour and you use with the rum and if you don't have grinded rice grinded rice you cannot buy fresh normal rice that on probably fresh they don't mill it you got, got your rice flour to make your any food you want to use to make with flour thank you to parents all i have to say to parents out there is that it's better to prevent something than to cure it so take care of your children and give them healthy things instead of unhealthy things at home should eat healthy food for their children they should cook balanced diets like beans yam and rice they should not eat unhealthy food thank you parents at home should know that any age can get diabetes stroke and all those heart diseases if you don't take care of it. even babies can also get them so that's why you have to also commit yourself to take care of them and take care of their food because if you don't commit yourself to take care of their food you may get diabetes at a very young age and if they get diabetes at a very young age, you have to be finding, they'll be taking drugs that normally elderly people, amount of drugs that normally elderly people will take that have diabetes. They'll have to be taking it and it's not so good. And they will not be able to do some things that they're able to do before. And another thing I'll tell you is that glutamate seasonings can, can destroy human beings. It can... Number one, the, the way it causes headache is that in the neurons pathways, what makes us able to remember everything and stores and allows us to do some things, it will, they will come there and destroy them and we will not be able to have headaches and stuff like that. So do not take glutamate seasoning. And if, and if you have to check your child's allergies, check if he has any allergies, maybe when he's born, just ask the doctors to check for allergies because if you know his allergies at his young age you're able to give able to not give him food that he is allergic to because of if he's allergic to something you don't know you can be given a food and it's killing him but you guys don't know the parents will not know and you may normally get him sick because those allergies are you're giving him food that he's allergic to thank you thank you everybody Children, give yourself a round of applause. I'm so proud of you. You have heard it from the children's mouth. They know more than we think they know. I know all those things. You wonder, where did they get them from? I didn't teach them. They read them. They went ahead to search. So if they can go ahead to search and find out this information, what are we doing that are their parents? Are we going to sit down and be talking bad about our nation? Or are we going to sit down and study our past, know our present, and then think about our future? Till we meet again, we are saying... Cooking is fun, come and see me cook. Cooking time is fun.